Hello everyone, Tom Cosm here. This is just a quick video to show you the two latest Max for Life patches or utilities that I've made which are free. Um, they might be handy for some people, they're a bit strange, but uh, you might like them. So the first one is called Locator Trigger. And what that does is once you load it in, it will go through your set and analyze it to check if there's any location markers or locator points in your set. So first, let's just add a couple here to show you. Second, just one more. Third, and then once you can just rescan it here, it will find out where they are and you can simply just trigger them by clicking on the go button. So that'll jump to the first one, that'll jump to the second one. See, we can play it like so. You can also go next and back. And these are all MIDI assignable as well if you want to um, assign MIDI buttons or key buttons to these individual things. Um, and also what this does is if you actually go into the session view and create a new MIDI clip and rename it to something. So for example, one, um, two, and three. It'll actually, um, the patch actually looks for the name of the MIDI clip and will play the corresponding number if it gets a whole number. So if I hit two, just wait for it to quantize the three and see when that um, that clip number three plays it'll jump to the third one and it's just handy if you do have some kind of set or some kind of weird thing work happening in arrangement view but you actually want to use session view to trigger the location points you can do that with the location trigger that's the first one the second one's really simple uh, where did I save it yeah, it's called Solo Automator. So what this does is you just list uh, what track you want it to solo. I'm just going to pick this track. And you have a solo on and off button. So that lets you solo this on and off. Now you're kind of asking, now why do you want that? Well, it's because it actually gives you the option to solo, automate the solo um, within your set. So for example, we can have solo on. Uh, turn my pen tool on. Solo on here, solo on here. And now if we just play that, you'll see that you can automate the solo because you can't actually automate the solo by default in Ableton Live um, which I believe is just a thing that they didn't add because that's not something you usually do but somebody might want to do that so there you go, those are the latest two things, there'll be a link in the description you can go and grab them, they're free um, and yeah, hope you enjoy them, cheers